Hi, my name is Allison Bradkin. I am from Chicago, and I was inspired to write my play Sore Spots after reading scores of stories detailing the swell of incidents of intimate partner violence during quarantine. I wanted to tell a story about two women who are in different stages of survival and how women can support each other in their transition from victim to survivor. So thank you so much for watching. Sore Spot by Allison Fradkin. Setting is Zoom, time is early evening, the present. We do wanna give a trigger warning here. This play contains mentions of domestic violence, references to domestic violence. One character is a survivor, the other isn't quite there yet. I need a black. I. I'm afraid I pull no punches. What about pranks or all-nighters? I've been known to sleep with a black eye open when it isn't swollen shut. That is. Oh, do you? I'm sorry about the wait. There was a call. I had to take it. Um. Anyway, thanks for meeting with me. I really wanted to attend the volunteer orientation last week, but there was an emergency. No explanation necessary. I'm glad you're here now. Yeah, well, um, thanks again. I I'm Willow, but you can call me Will. Ah, delighted to meet you, Will. I'm Doris, but you can call me Dor. Though, I don't think I make it better. Dor, then I do a window of opportunity. <laughs> but sometimes I knock without entering, so you better bracelet yourself. Um. As Mayor Shin from the Music Man would say, you watch your phraseology. <laughs> oh, to which I would reply, sir, which is not short for survivor, so no bracelet for you, Mayor Shin. If you want me to watch my tongue, then you had better do the same. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, my screen. Ugh. I hereby rub me the dits of spritz. Out of respect for the both of us, I... I think I'll continue calling you Dor, if that's okay. Hey, is that what you need the black eye for? The bracelet? Hmm. I'm making these for the fundraiser. <laughs> They're all going to say survivor because you're not a victim as long as you're still alive and kicking. What do you think of the color pattern, blue and black? What if the survivor sees as black and blue? Maybe try purple and black, or black and purple? Either way, it sounds okay. I mean, it's still an established pattern, just like what survivors have uh, survived. But purple is, um, purple is your color. Well, you are a most welcome addition to our event planning committee. So, what do you like to do? Tell me what you're good at besides saving me from making mortifying bling blunders. Oh, <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. Uh, I'm good for nothing. I, I'm I'm good at nothing. <laughs> well, no. That's not entirely true. I used to be a semi-splendid stage actor. I mean, I was nowhere near as talented as I like to think, but ah, hmm, looks like it's curtains for this combo. That had a cry for help written all over for it. <laughs> How did you know that is my favorite DV movie? I, what's your favorite TV movie? A Cry for Help. It's my favorite DV movie, although it was a TV movie too. So your question was actually accurate, but no, it's from 89. Nancy McKeon is in it. She made it after the facts. I think it's, um, I, I think the expression is after the fact. No, that, um, that was short for the show, The Facts of Life. Then I am sorry for bringing you up short. <laughs> I should have known that's what you meant. I watched that show all the time growing up. Not when it originally aired. That was a little before my time, but. Um, great, now I'm getting all nostalgic. You're welcome. Do you have a favorite episode? Um, was there an episode where Blair was involved with a guy who's verbally unkind to her? Or am I remembering that wrong? You're not. There was. And Joe saw her through it, helped Blair make the decision not to tolerate his derision. 
Joe was her emotional support frenemy. <laughs> no wonder I had a crush on Nancy McKeon. Oh, are you uh, um, a, a survivor? Uh, I am. I meant, I mean, congratulations. Uh, was your uh, uh, intimately violent partner not male? She was not. Unfortunately, she resembled Nancy a little too closely, and I knew that if I ever wanted to be able to lay eyes on her again, I would have to see to it that her spitting image would never be able to lay hands on me again. Obviously, that wasn't the only motivating factor, although I will say that the last straw was when she shredded to not purple ribbons all of my pinups and posters that I'd say that used to be taped to my bedroom walls. <sighs> You know, I should probably refrain from revealing this, but uh, I used to sing to those pictures. I would um, mm -hmm. truncate Nancy's last name and trill. <clears throat> oh, McKee, you're so fun. You're so fun to blow my mind. Hey, Nikki. Hey, McKee. <laughs> Why didn't you just replace Mickey with Nancy? I mean, it's the same number of syllables. Ah, but the folks at home might have tried to crush my crush. But as far as first names go, yours is similarly suited for song. <coughs> my, 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 Wilona. Oh. <laughs> I played Nancy once. Well, not your Nancy, of course. Nancy from the musical Oliver. She was with a man who needed her to be his punching bag. But your Nancy gets a survivor bracelet in the end, right? Oh, no, no. Uh, hers would say, victim. <laughs> that wasn't my favorite role, but I guess it was preparing me for... For what? For my favorite role. Uh, Audrey in Little Shop of Horrors, she gets a survivor bracelet. I mean, she croaks in the end, but not at the hands of her former SO. Um, I think the acronym is SOB. I think you're right. That is letter perfect. It does spell out sob, but there's no use crying over killed milk toast. Uh, <laughs> uh, the SOB ends up expiring and the milk toast is actually Seymour, the good guy. And why do I have so much TV on my TV? And theater, break a leg is good luck. And the only thing that's supposed to get struck is the set. <laughs> I miss it so much. But when I got married, my SOB, decided it was too time consuming that it was taking me away from him and home. So I said, I'm just doing it for kicks. And he said, I can give you those. And you don't even have to leave the house. <laughs> I, I thought he was pulling my leg, but I laughed. And then, and then I launched into this whole Lucy Ricardo act. I, I want to be in the show, but I don't need to be a housewife. No, he expected me to be a can't leave the housewife. You know what my swan song was? Sister Act. I played Mother Superior, if you can believe it. The song says, raise your voice. And I did, if you can believe that. Although my favorite tribute to transformation is actually from Dream Girls. I am changing. Ooh, I am adding that to our event playlist now. That song is so infuriatingly inspirational. I can't even listen to it sometimes. And other times? That number would really hit the spot right now. Well, not the sore spot, but it is much more mellifluous than something off of his greatest hits album. What scintillating singles are on that setback soundtrack? Mm. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, there's Diss You Much, um, Proud Mary and Haste, Repent at Leisure. Oh, and then there's the uh, No, oh, P.S. Day No Resistance. You can't stop the beatdown. Well, if I can stop the beatdown, you can stop the beatdown. And I say that without hesitation or self-deprecation. Out of curiosity, how long did it take you to stop the beatdown? It must have been one of those, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again, initiative, right? Batter her up, three strikes, I'm out. That's my motto. But how many times did you leave before leaving for good? 
one. Wow. Bully for you. No, no bully for me. That's another motto of mine. What'd you do? Channel Judy Burnley and from nine to five and belt out, get out and stay out. I'm taking back my life before triumphantly exiting stage left. Uh, no, it was more of an unsung departure. Really? Sounds to me like you're singing your own praises, Dor. With your superhuman strength, you must really give She-Ra a run for her money. But then you had an unfair advantage, and you, I mean, for you, leaving was child's play because you and your partner had identical identities. No matter how great the imbalance of power was between the two of you, you're still equal. Wow. I apologize, Will, for being so infuriatingly inspirational. No, no, I, I, I apologize for going off on you like that. I, I'm happy for you. Envious of, but happy for. You, you beat the odds <laughs> your first time out. Or you overcame them. Or, yeah, your goal store, your unapologetic, sorry, not sorry. <laughs> I wonder who conceived of that phrase. You know? <laughs> Probably a wife beater and a wife beater. <laughs> Too bad that's not really their customary costume. If my guy had been wearing that when I first met him, I could have beaten a hasty retreat. What is the opposite of a playlist? Not a trick question. Uh, I don't playlist? Don't playlist. Perfect. I am putting that song on there. Which song? The one you just mentioned. My guy. It is unapologetically uninspiring. Telling you from the start, I can't be torn apart by my guy. <laughs> Not necessarily. No. I am changing the lyrics. I'm telling you from the start, I can't be torn apart by my guy. Yeah, now that there is the proper preposition. I don't even care that the lyrics don't apply to <clears throat> sapphic arrangements. I mean, I care, but there is already a song called My Girl, and it champions mutual respect and doesn't normalize possessiveness in relationships. Put it on the playlist. I'm on it. Hey, would you want... Oh, do not ask me to sing at the event. If you do, I am telling you, I am not going to. I'm probably not even going at all, but I can still be hopeful. That is what the color purple stands for. I meant to say. Mm -hmm. I, I could maybe come up with some new lyrics for the songs on your don't playlist, and then you can transfer them over to your playlist, and I, I, I don't know, have a survivor sing along, like karaoke? The music itself would sound the same. Oof. And what a sound system it would be. Inspirational speakers accompanying our inspirational speakers. You really like my idea, Dor? You're not yanking my chain? We'll have you yanking off your own chains completely one day, but today we are yanking mm, chains by the cookies off the don't playlist and making it into... Change by the tough cookies. Yeah. <laughs> Can run around cause I'm now free. Who needs the music man when you've got the music woman? <laughs> oh. I mean, it might be tricky with some songs though. Mm. At the end song for instance. Although we could try something like Hand me baby and I'm out. Oh, oh, how about Hand me with your best shot? I'll hit the road. That's too similar to the first one. Oh, not at all. Repetition is key. Person hears something often enough, she starts to believe it. And when she takes the good, then shakes the bad. He's got no power, no power, no more over me. Ugh, who is the infuriatingly inspirational one now, Will? <laughs> hey, what's the name of the group that sings that? Do you know the... X somethings. The excited. Okay. Shall we drop the C and be the Exeters? I'd get a kick out of it. You watch your phraseology. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, would it be possible to have one more song on the playlist that doesn't need a rewrite? 
we already have I Am Changing, but what do you think about adding Sophia's song from the color purple? Oh, hell no. Oh, okay, fine. No, no big deal. I'm sorry. Oh, wait. Oh, did you mean hell yes to hell no? Hell yes. To hell yes. To hell no. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> I just figured a song like that about refusing to be cruising for a bruising might encourage someone to make tracks, you know, because it's so inspirationally infuriating. Some days I have it on repeat. I even started singing it out loud. <laughs> One day he overheard me. I crooned. He cringed and criticized. I know why the caged bird sings. She's a Maya Angel loser. Oh, don't pout, Willow. You know I'm only teasing. I still get a rise out of you. What do I ever get out of you? Nothing but another bouquet of your sorry, not sorry ass flowers. Perfect for playing that time honored game of he shoves me, he shoves me not. Oh my God. Sure, I'm, I'm so sorry. I, uh, sometimes I fantasize about asserting myself like you just witnessed or when I'm really fed up about doing him in Chicago style. Mm -hmm. I have done the cell block tango before. Of course, it was only for 10 men and I'm not seriously thinking about, maybe the fantasy means I'm itching to go? Where? Uh, to the event, the, the, the fundraiser. Well, that is indeed a desirable destination, but what I meant was, where are you itching? If it's your palms, the right one, anyway, it's a sign of good things to come. I thought itchy palms were a sign that someone would lose or gain money. Well, scratch that then. <laughs> Although getting money can be a good thing, especially if uh, he's, if he's um, financially unkind. Yeah. I've been saving in secret. For herself, saving purposes. I've also been making my own greatest hits album. Photo, not record. I'll, that way I'll have a record of everything. It's small, which makes it easy to conceal, but it really packs a punch among other assorted sources of soreness. I think I just discovered my motto. My partner packs a punch, I pack a bag. Well, why would anyone want to play Pac-Man when you can play pack your bags and leave that man where everyone's a winner? And I even think about going back to him. You just got me silly. Got it? Do overly energetic high fives count as silly slaps? <laughs> they do. <laughs> you, Cage Songbird, are a monarch in the making. Thanks, Dora. It's always open. My Willona. <laughs> I guess from now on, you'll have to call me Madama Butterfly. Ooh, I will call you Madama Butterfly tomorrow, if that's okay. Or, you know, why don't you just call me whenever you're free? Thinking we could talk about the silent auction, if you're interested. One of our survivors is donating a doll she designed. <clears throat> Malibu Boo Barbie. Batterer no longer included. <laughs> Apparently, oh. when you peel off the bandages, you can make her boo-boos disappear. There's some sort of water-activated, color-changing technology involved. Well, this would be water-deactivated would be more accurate, actually. <laughs> that would be a great <laughs> gift for my... Honey! Life. I'm home! Oh, it must have been my left palm that was itching since that's a sign of bad things to come. Home. I better go welcome Matt. A real misnomer, considering I'm the doormat in this relationship. Fortunately, underneath the coat of war paint I applied to the bruises is a brave face just waiting to be put on. Hey, uh, Mother Superior. What do you get when you take the Y? off emergency and put an E there instead. Emergent? That's right, Will. Someday those bruises will be gone but not forgotten and we'll look at them as souvenirs. 
of survival. They'll still be a sore spot with you, but once you're out from under his spell, you'll be able to spell that word a little differently. S-O-A-R? Hell yes. And I'm telling you, I'm not going to put up with this much longer. Where there's a will, there's a way out. 